What's up, everybody? We're back again for another edition of Travis Eats. Uh, hopefully, uh, you guys saw the last one with the biscuits and gravies, Lay's potato chips. Because today we're moving on, and we're gonna try the kettle cooked gyro chips, also from Lay's. And yes, it's a gyro, gyro, no G, because it's Greek. Now the gyro, gyro is the motion controls thing. Um, this is a gyro. Anyways. Um, so yeah, so of course, like I said, there's four flavors this time. There's uh, biscuits and gravy, gyro, a Reuben sandwich, and the truffle fries. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right in and uh, we'll look at the back of these. So as far as nutritional facts go, we have maybe, maybe calories 200. Um, per serving, like I said, one serving is, oh, well, this is one package, okay. Uh, total fat 12 grams, saturated fat 1.5 grams, cholesterol 0 milligrams, sodium 200 milligrams, total carbohydrates 22 grams, dietary fiber 2 grams, sugars 2 grams, protein 3 grams. Oh, these are made by James Wagner, so thank you James. Uh, and on the back here it says, there's a great little Greek place in town, uh, James is from Wichita, Wichita Falls, Texas. There's a great little Greek place in town that makes the most amazing euros. Uniquely cooked and flavored meat covered in tzatziki sauce, onions, lettuce, and feta cheese in a fresh pita. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, uh, no thanks. Um, it does smell like uh, a gyro. Just not what I was expecting. Um, yeah, these are heavily coated and definitely either more coated than the Bisson's gravy ones or or uh, The seasoning is darker. Not really sure No No now what's nice is they're crispier than the uh, Bisson gravy, so that's nice, and that's the that's the kettle cooked part of it. In the beginning, there's a real off taste. And I usually like really like tzatziki sauce. No, 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 um, these are not good, ingredients, potatoes, vegetable oil, gyro, gyro seasoning, gyro, gyro seasoning, uh, natural flavors, salt, dextrose, spices, whey, gum arabic, onion powder, garlic powder, tomato powder, tomato powder, sunflower oil, sour cream, tomato powder? You get used to the flavor after a while, but it's still not a good flavor. I would not eat these. I don't know what it is. They're not... Maybe because they don't taste like anything. Nothing stands out. I mean... We do have... Lettuce, tomatoes, and gyro meat on the cover here. Oh, I'm sorry. And a pita. So maybe it's the imitation meat flavor they're trying to add. And what, what is gyro seasoning? Is that just some kind of Greek seasoning? I mean, you can just say it like that. But I, I would not get these guys. The uh, the Greek town gyro from James Wagner is not a go. And it's not James's fault, you know. He submits it to Lay's, and then Lay's takes it back to their lab, and they create the taste and flavor and whatnot. So this is a total fail for Lay's. Um, hopefully I join me on my adventure while I go discover the truffle fries and the Reuben. If you guys like this video, share it with your friends. And give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later.